work up there in the Mohegan Sun Department of Athletic Regulation. Keep it up, Mike Mazzulli. Keep it up, Dr. Michael Schwartz. And make sure that we stay vigilant. We don't have a national commission, so we need good, strong commissions in every state. And by the way, Mike Mazzulli suspended the two fighters, and he fined them $5,000 each. Now they will be getting their day in court. They will have a hearing. Regan looking for something here in round four. Tries to find it behind the jab. Morris says, come on and try to get it. Morris trying to get in. Reagan needs to try to keep him out. And Moro must make sure while he's getting in, he does not catch big shots. Getting in with a tall man can be like walking in a bad neighborhood at a late hour of night. It can be dangerous. You can get caught while you're trying to close those gaps, while you're trying to negotiate that distance. And the way it can be dangerous for Moro, who turns out for right now, and then back to the orthodox stand, it can be dangerous when he jumps in, leaving himself vulnerable to incoming. Regan attempted the left uppercut when Moro came to the inside. Now a warning from John Shorley. Let him go, let him go. The left hand was loose. Moro free to throw it. And you Moore, see that? he said, toe the line. And Moore needs to keep his hands free when he's in close. When oh. he's in his range, his distance, his location. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Stop, I mean, stop. He was warned earlier about punching when he said stop. Very close that time. The best opportunities now for Reagan is to catch Moore as he comes in. Right here is where Reagan must set himself and try to nail Mora if he jumps in. Talk about the alter ego of Sergio Mora. The Latin snake came out here in the final minute of this fourth round. This is it. I got I got I got it. There's good news and bad news. For Reagan, the bad news, he has not fought tall enough. The good news, he fought short, but he's still in the fight. A very exciting main event here on Friday Night Fights. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside as we are about to start round number five between Sergio Mora and Eric Regan. Very, very heated exchange at the end of that fourth round when the bell rang. A round that Mora started to really bring out that attitude. There was a shot that was landed right on the break of referee John Shorley. Don't do that. Don't do that, Eric. There again, you could see the quickness of Mora, but you could also see... The dangerous move of Moore, jumping in with the left hook, getting away with it. What he has to be careful for is that Regan is not set to punch with a right hand as he jumps in with that left hook. Short left hand on the inside. Moore loose with the right hand. You both hit me on the head that time. I started to say in the last round, Joe, bad news and good news for Regan. The bad news is, for the most part, he's fought in the wrong place in this fight, in close, giving up his height. But the good news, he's been competitive, and he's had moments like that. Let's bring in a guy who knows all about Sergio Mora. We're joined ringside by Peter Manfredo, Jr. Pete, how do you see this right now? Well, I think Reagan's got the best out of him right, uh, until right now. As soon as you speak, it brings out the best in Sergio Mora. Best combination he's had all night. Go figure. But you see what Mora did right there? He finishes off a good combination in close and then quickly switches to southpaw. 
where all of a sudden Regan is not ready for punches to come from that angle in close. Sergio needs to work on the inside a lot more. I mean, that's where his game is. Um, this kid's not using his, his reach, like you said, and Sergio's not getting off like he should on the inside. Well, Pete, we've been talking about all night that Mora needs to get in close, but that's only part of what he needs to do. Then he needs to keep his hands free and work when he gets in there. Exactly. For the most part, Mora has not had trouble getting in close. That's what he needs there to do. Go. There we go. I got the break. I got the break. Oh, not behind your head. Oh, you got Sergio can be set up a lot more with the jab, body, body head. He's going to elevate it. I have more ahead in this fight for one reason. He's done better in the areas more consistently where he needs to be in close than Reagan has done in the areas he needs to be consistent on the outside. Break, break out. Ah, yeah. In other words, Mora has fought short better than Reagan has fought long. Yeah. 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 And a five in Sacramento. What's going on with yeah, that? Yeah, um, I just wanted to stay busy and fight, and uh, we worked it out, and uh, they're going to get me back in action in October. I basically just wanted to stay busy. Well, stay busy right now analyzing this sixth round with us. Peter Manfredo Jr., Sergio Mora looking to pick up the pace now on the inside. What's the difference between the Mora that we see tonight against the six foot four Eric Regan and the Mora that you saw two times? I think uh, six foot four Eric Regan. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Mora circling now to his right. Regan comes in behind the jab. He's at the distance that he wants. You heard him say before the fight that he is primed. He is ready. Mora struggled to find a good sparring partner until he landed Kingsley Akiki and was able to go in with a six foot four dive day in and day out. Peter, you're a fighter. Help out the people, the great people watching back home. Why a guy who has the physical advantages, the physical assets like Regan, who's tall and should fight tall, gets into that ring and doesn't fight tall. Uh, I think it's a lot. It has to do with uh, being mental when you're in the fight. It's two different things. When the crowd's cheering, uh, you feel a little brave. Okay, I got that. And, uh, I got that. I got that. you know, that warrior comes out in you where you just want to bang with the guy. But it's that's why boxing is like a chess match. You know what I mean? Anybody can, with two hands and two feet can punch. But I got you. I got you. I got it's a chess you. match. you got to use your mind in there. And uh, if Reagan just stays on the other side and, and uses that right there, the right straight right hand, double jab straight right hand, he should have no problem. Does it come down to that word discipline? You just have to discipline yourself, in this case, Reagan, to stay out of there and stay on the outside. Exactly. It's all about discipline. That's what the great sport of boxing is all about, baby. Right hand from Sergio Mora, and he's rallying, placing left hooks, and tried to go with the uppercut on the inside. I want to remind bigger. you that coming up next will be season two of The Contender. That follows this main event. Again. Nothing complicated here. Mora has been in the area he needs to be more than Reagan has fought the fight in the area he needs to fight. Warning from John Shorley of a possible point deduction as we come to the final 30 seconds of this sixth round. You know, there's still a lot of hope here for Reagan. He can punch, and there's moments he gets a chance to get that punch across. Moments, Peter, when Mora will jump in with his shots. Right, he does that a lot. He's very open, jumps in from the left, he jumps in from the right. Um, Regan's just got to sit down on the shot and catch him, but I think Morrow can stop this kid if he uh, just stays busy and keeps working the shots. I think he's hurting him. We'll see if he can do that. Peter Manfredo, Jr., ringside. Thank you very much. Coming to the